Uh, what do you think about as a small tangent, um, Johnny Depp, Amber Heard trial's going on. It's a quick so, pause. It's going to resume next week. So again, this is one of those situations where, you know, I have very limited information because I'm also not sitting there watching the trial. Yeah, have you watched I, any of it? I, little bits of it, and so I, it's like I know that if I go there, then that I'm going to want to watch it all. Yeah, it's good. I know. Because I really, it's, it's raw human relationships that is most toxic and it's most deep also because there's you can tell there's love probably still there's love which is the interesting thing they probably still love each other even though they hate each other um and like there's a lot of lying going on it looks like it's amber heard lying to, to, to my foolish eyes it seems like she's lying non-stop but you know i want to know the full story and we'll never get to know it, but you see this raw, like post-mortem on a relationship, on a love affair that was clearly passionate. There was clearly something deep of a connection there. And it just, that's the sad thing about love. It can destroy you as much as it can uplift you. So there- It there, can be also used to destroy people. Yeah, to manipulate and all that kind of stuff, yeah. Right, so people who um, feel that strongly are, I think, particularly vulnerable. Um, yeah, it, it's it's hard to talk about because I've dipped into like a podcast or something where other people are were discussing bad vegan in like a pop culture way, mm -hmm. and they're analyzing it, and it's so annoying to listen to because I'm like, oh my god, that's totally wrong. That's totally wrong. Well, if they only knew this, well, I have nope, that's wrong. So it, you know, yeah, listening to other people analyzing. Um, my situation or my psychology when they don't have all the information has been really frustrating. There's but a difference. I did. There's a difference because the world doesn't know much about you except for the Netflix documentary. Right. There's a lot more information about both Johnny Depp and Amber Heard and the trial is revealing the real people. This one right. is so interesting. But I haven't watched it all. Okay. But but I there's a difference between a, a documentary and like a raw human being. Exactly, the real trial. There. You can see the body language. The It's so interesting that I think you could tell the difference between a person who is full of shit and not. I, no. I mean, um, I'm not sure. No, uh, it's but, another, I'm gonna, I can't remember. And, and the, sorry, so I keep interrupting you, but on top of this, they're actors too, which is very annoying. Cause, right, exactly. Because like I don't know if they're putting it, but it sure as hell looks like Amber Heard is putting on um, like a soap opera act. Soap opera meaning like really bad acting of I, like and lies. But I would say all of these things are really hard. People would say about me, I don't look like a victim, and I don't mind you interrupting me because Andrew Huberman said that's that means you're interested in the conversation. <laughs> he said it was a good thing, so, so you don't have to apologize. I think. For it. I think Interrupting yeah. me. <laughs> it keeps coming up, but I keep thinking of these. That that's one of the things that Andrew told me that I'm like, I are you sure? Because it just does seem like an asshole thing to do. I don't I guess it, it depends on the context. If we were in a business meeting and and somebody, you know, talks over you to kind of make their point heard. Yeah. But if it's a one on one situation, then it's not I, I could argue anyway, that forever. But so a long time ago I listened to there was a audio call, um, an audio that was released of a taped argument between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Um, and I don't remember why, like which one of them had taped it and if they knew it was being taped, but it was like an hour and a half. And I listened to it almost like you would listen to a podcast where I was doing other things. I was like cleaning my apartment and I was fascinated listening to it. To a fight. So I was, and, and it's interesting too, because it was just the audio, not, so you're not looking at their body language, um, which can be completely misleading. And there was another podcast where they talked about how Judges make worse decisions on whether or not somebody deserves, you know, parole or to be released on bail when they see the person in person versus if they're just looking at the information on paper. So I think body language and those kinds of things can be can actually be misleading. Um, or we think that like by looking somebody in the eye, we'll know if they're lying or not. But the skilled liars are able to um, bypass that, or they. Because I'm jumping all over the place, but one of the things about sociopaths is they're not going to have the same tell. So, like, if I was lying, somebody would know because I'm, like, stressed out, mortified. I'm probably doing all the things that we do when we lie because it's stressful for me, mm -hmm. whereas they don't have those things. So I think that 
you know, they could, for example, I think that they could pass a lie detector test. They also don't, don't have like a startle response. So That's interesting. the activity in their brain, like if you and I watched something graphic and tragic on TV or watch something happen, like things would happen in our brains that don't happen in the brains of sociopaths. So they don't react to things in the same way that that we do. Again, but you, that makes you them... keep assuming I'm not a sociopath. I didn't say I'm not a sociopath. This assumption you keep making is very interesting. Then why did I murder all those people? Let's get back <laughs> to the, um, what were we talking about? Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. So the, oh, yes, the audio that. that I heard made me, without knowing anything else, made me very inclined to be team Johnny Depp. Yeah. Based on that, based just based on that audio. Yeah. Well, that's how the people are feeling about this whole interaction. By the way, I do think it's a very healthy thing to do in a relationship is to record each other for months at a time. Uh, every time you fight, that just seems like a very, um, that's sarcasm. I don't, I don't understand how that, because they both recorded each other. It, it just, it's, okay, I, mean, I suppose you could look back at all human relations and be like, this was ridiculous. What was I doing? But when you're in it, you don't. Right. I wondered that too. Like who made the recording and why? And, um, and did they both know about it, that it was being recorded? Sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't. Uh, all I know is just the poetry of Johnny Depp's speaking and sort of um, movement about the whole thing. It's interesting. It's, you, it makes you wonder what's real. Maybe this is whole, maybe, maybe, maybe they're both in love and this is like a, a, a troll that they played on the world. I don't know. It's, it's, it makes me wonder what's real at all. Uh, like I, because they're you have to remember they're actors too. Yeah, I don't think he would have filed the lawsuit if he No, was... I, I mean I'm joking. It's... No, I know, but <laughs> yeah. but no, I mean my point is um yes, yeah, yeah. If somebody was trying to make the argument that like he's the abuser and that he's lying and he's full of shit, it it sort of doesn't make sense that he would have filed the lawsuit unless he's trying to have this all come out in the open because he believes he's in the right. You know, again, I don't, I have no idea. I agree with you. I'm just I agree with you. About... As a fan of love and human nature, I appreciate the fact that they went through this. I know it's probably extremely painful, but it's it's fascinating to watch human relationships be presented in such a raw way. And it made me realize how rare it is to get a glimpse like that. 